Peace. What's good, family? Today, I'll be doing a product review on Dr. Sebi Cell Food, specifically on the Banju CBD capsules and hair food oil. For me, it's been a while since I've last purchased from Dr. Sebi Cell Food. I would say since 2016. The products I used to get was the tooth powder, hair food oil, the Banju, and the green food capsules. So I wanted to stick with a few familiar products that I used to get, such as the Banju and hair food oil, just to see if I noticed there's any difference in consistency or change in the quality. And I also wanted to try something new that was never around when Dr. Sebi was here with us, the CBD capsules. After Dr. Sebi passed away, there was a lot of question or uncertainty about the products, whether they would remain the same quality and even talks of the company being compromised. They even had to list it on their FAQ, which according to them, they're stating that the company is not compromised. It is still the same staff selected and trained by Dr. Sebi, and the staff is still managed by Pablo Medina, who was a partner along with Dr. Sebi. Dr. Sebi's passing had nothing to do with why I stopped purchasing from them. It was more that I was stepping into a field of learning more about herbs and how I can create some of the compounds myself. I found it to be far more cost efficient to purchase bulk herbs and, you know, make your own tonics and compounds. Anytime I do a product review, I like to speak on the company as a whole. Let's talk about their website. It's clean, straight to the point, easy to find what you're looking for. From the jump, the products are there and the description is listed underneath as well as the price. So you know what you're getting into. There's nothing hidden you don't have to click into anything. You could just continue to scroll. And I like that. Nothing to do with the product, but I also like the fact that they have informative blogs on there that you can get an idea on how to better your health. It gives you the feeling that it's not just about the herbs that you take, but your everyday habits that you create for yourself. So as I'm scrolling on the website, I'm noticing that all of their products have five star reviews. All of your products have five star reviews. And I'm not even looking for one star reviews. I'm talking the three or four star reviews. There's none. It makes me wonder, are they filtering out some of the reviews and just leaving all good reviews? I placed my order on Wednesday night, got a notification that very same day that the order has shipped and I got my product the following week on a Monday, three business days. That's not bad at all. So we're good on shipping. A lot of paper placed inside the box so you can shake it around and you're not going to hear any rattling. So it was packaged very well. The Banju and hair food oil was in bubble wrap while the CBD capsules were just in there. The security ceilings were on all products, you know, to maintain uh, freshness. So that's great. No issues there. Let's talk about the product, starting with the hair food oil. What it does is it nourishes the scalp and hair and they say it fights dandruff and breakage and also supports natural hair growth. I love the fact that they use simple ingredients, uh, olive oil, batana, coconut oil, and French vanilla. The smell and the consistency is the same from what I can remember, which to me isn't a good thing. Uh, I always thought the hair food oil was a bit too oily for me. And ever since I got batana oil myself in its raw form, I'm wondering how much batana oil are they actually using? So I feel like they used a greater ratio of olive oil and coconut oil. Nonetheless, I find it to be a great product because it is so oily, a little bit does go a long way. I massage it into my beard and scalp and smooth it along my locks as well. Not a big fan of the hair food oil as I use to be. I just wish I could get a better ratio of the Batana oil. I wanted to really get a feel of the products such as Banju and the CBD capsules. To do so, I wanted to cleanse as much as possible before actually trying the products just to get a sense of how they are affecting me. What I did before trying Dr. Sabi's products was I fasted mostly on liquids and if I did eat, it was mostly raw foods. Uh, I ate a lot of pears and then I drank a lot of smoothies. That just helped me cleanse out any foods and make sure that none of the products were counteracting with any of the other things I still had within my system. So the Banju, the Banju was always one of the, my favorite products that I purchased and it tastes 
horrendous. It's not as bad as some of the other bitters out there. You know, the combination of herbs, you could kind of taste everything in there. Uh, in 2022, their Banju still tastes the exact same from what I can remember. In this situation, if it's not broke, don't fix it. I'm glad they didn't. They say it's good for brain health by helping improve focus and concentration, uh, reduce anxiety and stress, which a lot of us need today. It also helps to relieve pain and inflammation. The ingredients they use, elderberry, blue vervain, burdock root, valerian root, bugleweed, white willow, yellow duck. Their directions are to shake well before using. Uh, you want to take two tablespoons of banju in the morning and two tablespoons in the evening. It could be taken on an empty stomach or after a meal. For children under one year of age, you want to take half of the recommended dosage. For children one year and over, take full dosage. So I start work at 6 a.m. and sometimes I work overtime so I might get off at 5 p.m. or around 6 p.m. Each day before work I will take a shot of Banju and then around 2.30, 3.30 p.m. I will take another shot. And I do get a feel that it did improve my focus. It tastes the exact same from what I can remember before. It has that bitterness but yet a hint of sweetness to it. I believe that sweetness could be coming from the elderberry. It's not a thin consistency. It's a little Little thick. The first sip, it, it could get dark for you. Me personally, I don't feel it's gag worthy, but you know, that bitterness can get you. You might have to chase it down with some spring water. Another thing I feel Banju is great for is if you're on a fast journey, it helps redirect your mind if you ever experience. <sighs> My light went out, sorry. Another thing I feel Banju is great for is if you're on a fast journey or just trying to make better health decisions, uh, maybe redirect some of your cravings. Anytime I had a craving for something uh, like a sweet type of food or, or a savory, salty food, uh, you take a shot of this and you don't want nothing else after except water. It's an eight fluid ounce bottle. I've been taking it for about a week now. Uh, I have about half a bottle left and I feel good about it. Now, the CBD capsules. I wanted to try the CBD capsules because this is something new that they decided to make. You know, some people feel that CBD isn't really in alignment of what Dr. Sabi would have done or would have agreed to have he still been here with us and that I'm not certain because he did smoke marijuana consuming marijuana like whether it's via oil or crushing down the herb and actually eating it is far a better option than smoking it uh it gets a little tricky and I'll be honest I'm still informing myself about CBD and hemp the only hemp anything I know of really is hemp seeds and I love those but nonetheless I wanted to try CBD and get a feel of it I decided why not with Sabi cell food products they're saying it's full spectrum CBD capsules it helps reduce anxiety and stress which you know, I would assume that relieve pain and inflammation and support a healthy cardiovascular system. The ingredients used is raw hemp, full aerial parts and phytocannabinoid rich. They say as a supplement, you want to take two capsules twice a day. Sometimes I would take two capsules all in the morning or I would split it, maybe take one in the morning, one in the evening. There was a time where I even took four by accident. You know, I didn't feel no different. I didn't feel high and I'm pretty sure that's not how CBD full spectrum works or, or how you're supposed to feel. And I believe it did help me relax a bit during my work shift. Sometimes when I'm processing claims, I shake my leg after you've been sitting there for hours you know I do get a little antsy to where I have to do some type of movement I noticed I wasn't doing that as much while using the CBD capsules I believe they had a few other CBD products on their website which you know I'm curious uh, you know this definitely got me interested in CBD uh, hemp in general which I'm gonna do more research on. And yeah, those are my three product reviews. So is it worth purchasing Dr. Sabi cell food products today in the year 2022? Yes, the products haven't changed. Therefore, to this day, it's still high quality you are getting. Gotta love their accessibility. Easy to find the products, easy to contact them if necessary. I love their innovation with a few new herbal mixes and hemp added to the lineup. 
As of today, competition is high, so the price may seem steep to some. But that's my full review on the three products purchased today. Let me know in the comments, have you purchased from Dr. Sebi Cell Food? What are your thoughts on the products? And if you have tried them, which ones have you purchased? I hope you found value in today's video. Don't forget to check out the other content here on YouTube. Until next time, 209 Bad Daye. Hey, every time I look out, I'm on my lookout. Cause tripping, no, I ain't hoping, no sense in voting. Politicians, all of that hating, don't be creating. Food in my kitchen, all of that talking without no walking. Can't help my vision when I step out.